Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get your USB audio stream going for your Yamaha MX61 or MX49 keyboard and get that audio stream to feed into PreSonus Studio One. Now make sure that you've got Studio One installed on your computer. Uh, this basic setup should work the same with just about any DAW software. Um, you also need to make sure that you've got the Yamaha Steinberg USB driver installed. So if you go over to Yamaha's website, you can find the download link for that. Okay, so once you've got the Yamaha Steinberg USB driver installed and you launch your DAW, you should see it in the audio device area. So uh, the way you get to this actually in Studio One is basically when you launch Studio One, you're going to end up on this main kind of splash page at first. And down here, you'll see Setup and you should see some audio device option that has already been selected there. Um, once you click on that, you'll actually be able to see this drop down menu with all your different audio drivers and devices. If you have multiple devices and you want to select that Yamaha Steinberg USB as your device, you click your control panel. And actually in there, when you pull up the actual driver control panel, you'll see you should see your Yamaha MX series keyboard and um, it's only got that 44.1 kilohertz option. If you have other Yamaha devices, like I've got this Yamaha mixer here, uh, you'll see those in there as well. And then um, you should see your ASIO uh, options as well. So you can see if I select my MX series, um, I've got the latency mode, and then I've got my buffer size that I can tinker with. Now I'm gonna fire up a new project and match that 44.1 kilohertz frequency now I just came up and added a new track and I'm going to check here and make sure that my Yamaha MX series is showing. And that is the selected inputs. And you can see that level coming into the input when you hit that record button. You'll probably notice that your levels are ridiculously low. And unfortunately, that just seems to be the case here. Even with the volume all the way up, um, I'm still adding 12 and a half decibels of input gain here just in the software itself. And I can barely, I mean, I'm hammering in pretty hard right there. I can barely get it up to an adequate level. So this is one of the reasons why I tend to run this particular keyboard through a mixing board so I can boost the signal a bit. Anyway, hope this helps. Later.